Pete Davidson is here to support Kim Kardashian. And now, a source is opening up to E.T. about how the SNL star is helping his girlfriend through her divorce from Kanye West. What's my life gonna look like? Well, we know Kim's life looks a bit different since last February when she filed for divorce from the rapper. In October, she started dating Pete after making her SNL hosting debut. Now, are you gonna kiss me or not? I sure am, Jasmine. And Kanye, well, he's made his feelings clear. You know, how you gonna bring me to SNL and kiss the dude you dating right in front of me? And everybody's like, oh, that's, that's cool. There's also this controversial lyric on Kanye's latest single, Easy. God sent me from that crash just so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass. Who? Now, a source is opening up to E.T. about how the New York native feels about it, explaining, quote, Pete finds Kanye's lyrics and interviews about him funny and entertaining. He is super chill about the situation and doesn't take it too personally, but he hates that Kim has to deal with the drama. You just gotta roll with it. The source also adds the funny man is supportive and reminds the mother of four to not focus on the drama. And things seem to be going well for the new couple. The Suicide Squad actor publicly called Kim his girlfriend for the first time in a recent interview with People. Plus, it sounds like Pete is moving to the West Coast to be closer to the Skims founder. Yep. Yep. While the 28-year-old is based in New York, a source tells E.T. Pete is now considering a place in Los Angeles. And the move makes sense because Pete has plenty of friends and work in L.A. Plus, he's, quote, into whatever gives him more time with Kim. Why not? As for the beauty mogul, she's staying busy with work, gracing the March cover of Vogue. And inside, she gets real about what led to her decision to divorce, telling the mag she's now prioritizing her happiness over others. She says, quote, and even if that created changes and caused my divorce, I think it's important to be honest with yourself about what really makes you happy. At the end of the day, life is about being happy, being who you are. And that mentality echoes what Kim told her momager, Kris Jenner, on the Keeping Up with the Kardashians finale. After turning 40 this year, I realized, like, no, I don't want a husband that lives in a completely different state. I just want you to be happy and joyful. And I think I, I haven't seen that in a really long time.